yeah, I, I hope you guys, like I said, are having a great first week. Um, I pray that God has been and will continue to bless you all during this 21 days. The Barajas, hello. Uh, I'll say that I've really been enjoying these nightly Facebook Live devotionals. Uh, they've been really great. So um, it's 8.01, so I think we'll get started. Uh, we still have people trickling in, but uh, we'll get things going. Uh, today's scripture is Psalm 34, 6. I'll give you a moment to flip to that page in your booklet uh, or flip to it in your Bible. Uh, Psalm 34, 6. And I'll be reading from the NASB. Psalm 34, 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. One more time. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Church, I love this verse because it is such a comfort knowing that even in our times of greatest need, the Lord hears us. You know, isn't that awesome? In this verse, uh, the word that David uses for poor, uh, he's not referring to wealth. He's not talking about money uh, or earthly possessions at all. What he's, the word that he uses there, it could also be translated as, as miserable or afflicted uh, or desolate even. Um, and so this is a very low point that David is at. And at this low point, that he's reflecting on. David cries out to God, and God hears him. And not only does God hear him, but he answers and he delivers him. The Bible tells us that no one, uh, not even us as Christians, are exempt from troubled times. But the Bible also tells us that no Christian must face trouble alone. When we're at our low points, that's the good news, church, that we don't have to face them alone. God will always be there for us. And, you know, many times we can also rely on our Christian brothers and sisters in our times of need. Uh, you know, that's what community is all about, in my opinion. Uh, you know, love in action, whether that is getting coffee with a friend and, you know, talking things through. Uh, having trusted prayer warriors that you go to uh, in times of need, uh, meal trains for a new family. You know, whatever it looks like in that unique situation, that's what community is about. Uh, loving and supporting and being there for one another. But in those times where there's no one to turn to, uh, where it seems like no one can help, God is always there. And Psalm 34, 6 reminds us to seek the Lord in those times and that the Lord will hear us. And, you know, God won't always snap his fingers and make your problems go away that instant, but God will always see you through it. Uh, I also, I, I want to read the supplemental scripture for today also uh, from the booklet. Uh, which is found in 1 Timothy, uh, it's chapter 1, verse 15. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of who I am the foremost. This is why Jesus came to earth, to save you and I from sin and darkness. And he's still saving us from sin and darkness today. It wasn't a one-time thing. It's an eternal thing that we may have everlasting life if we turn our lives over to him. Charles Spurgeon, a uh, theologian, he remarked that the simple gospel which saves the sinners also feeds saints. And the truth of who God is, uh, what that means to me, the truth of who God is and, and what he's done for us 
uh, is an incredible revelation to those uh, first coming to know Jesus. Uh, but, you know, it's good for us as Christians to reflect on it as well. Uh, and, and that's what I want to leave you with tonight. Uh, in our darkest times, let's rely on God. And if we doubt, let's remind ourselves of who God is and all that he's already done for us. I'd like to close in prayer. Um, dear Lord, thank you for who you are. God, thank you for what you've done in our lives and for what you continue to do. God, I pray that you would bless us as we go tonight. I, I pray comfort for those in need. I pray your presence over those in turmoil. Be with us as we head into our weekend and God, give us reminders uh, of things we may have forgotten that we once rejoiced over, uh, of times that you've come through for us, Lord. God, we love you, we praise you, and all God's people said, amen. Uh, thank you, CAG. Uh, may the Lord bless you. Uh, have a great rest of your night. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, tune in tomorrow night at 8 p.m. for the next devotional. Thank you.